All right, guys. This is, uh, just a quick video for uh, Steve. Uh, there's a little discussion brought up about um, being able to tell the uh, machine position from the front of the lane, and uh, I guess maybe I got a little too technical. But I said uh, he said I totally confused him. So just going to explain a little bit what I meant. Uh, as you can see right now, obviously the machine's off. It's at zero. Um, I mentioned. It can be at zero and the rake can be down. You know, the, the clutch doesn't even have to be engaged because I can trip the shotgun with the machine off, which, as you can see, is going to drop the rake and the machine's not even on. Um, the, only t the only time you can really tell by the rake is when 4 to 1 back here, the crank rod and the sweep link goes up here, there's the block. And all the way up there is the hook when it's engaged and the gearbox is actually driving it, which only occurs from 135 degrees until 225 degrees. That's really the only time you can tell by the rake what position the uh, the gearbox is actually in or the machine position, whatever you want to call it. Um, you can tell by, uh, by the deck to an extent. Uh, a first ball cycle you can tell, uh, you know, when the deck's initially going down, when it reaches its lowest point. And it's detecting that's 90 degrees. As it comes back up, all the way up, that's 180 degrees. The rake will be back. And then when it's at its lowest point again, either setting new pins if it was a strike or respotting standing pins, that's 270 degrees. And once it goes back up again, you're back to 360 or zero. Um, on second ball, it's a little bit different because down here you have the, the holding hook, which is going to hold the deck up during the detection process. It's going to hold it up, up all the way to 180 degrees. It's, uh, it actually has a high strike detection on second ball, which is what allows it to set pins. So the second half of the cycle you can tell by deck position, you know, as, it, as it's setting new pins, uh, that's 270 degrees, and then once it goes back up, it's at uh, 360 or zero once again. Uh, I'm get a little more into it with the, with the hook here. I'll try to get a better angle of it. That's the sweep hook right here, which raises and lowers. So it grabs when it's supposed to and doesn't grab when it's not supposed to. And the block is attached to the, the sweep link here that moves forward and back. It's driven by the, the 4 to 1 assembly. Uh, it's all controlled by the detector. This rod here is actually how you adjust your sweep hook height. And um, you'll see the rate. I'll just cycle it for you a couple of times. It'll The hook will raise and lower as needed. It's going to raise up and then it'll you'll see it drop. It won't once the the arm is forward and the block actually grabs the hook and drives the rake rearward that once that starts that's 135 degrees of the cycle. And then finally when it releases it and the hook raises again that's 225 degrees. So anywhere in that area you can tell by the rake as to what position the machine's in. So let's give it a couple cycles. At 45, you can see a hook look, raise and then lowers. That's 225 right there when it let go. And that doesn't change from first to second ball. You see it raise and then drop. Coming forward, that's 135. And then 225 when it lets go. So you, you, you can tell somewhat, to an extent, what, uh, what position the machine is in from the rake, uh, and the, you can tell pretty much the, the entire cycle from the deck on first ball. Shut this off. But uh, hopefully that clarifies things a little bit better for you. You can see the, the hook and the, the block on the, the sweep link. And uh, hopefully that explains things for you. Uh, if there's any other requests for videos or pictures or whatever, just leave me a comment or drop me a private message. I'll be glad to do whatever I can for you. I've uh, also been doing some, uh, some more rake adjustments. I'll probably take some more videos of them and put them up for you guys so you can tell me if I did good or if I screwed up or whatever. All right, guys. Later.